Rebel Canners, teaching all kinds of food preservation, including the old ways. back again and I have something new to show you I was recently given this and you'll see it has the canning buttons see if I can get it close enough yeah the power pressure XL and I can't remember if it's eight or ten quarts I want to say eight but it might be the ten quart one it was given to me free it had only been used twice and I am so excited oh my gosh so it will do four four pints sale 99 cents a pound some pork shoulder I'm gonna can it barbecue it um I can do four points at a time so I'm just gonna take it on its maiden voyage it has a canning rack so I'm gonna put that canning rack in there I'm gonna get my jars ready and filled up and we'll be back so I've got them tightly packed and a little bit of water and now I'm going to add about half a teaspoon of minced garlic to each one. I just put the water in there just to keep the barbecue sauce from scorching. And then next we'll add our barbecue sauce. I'm going to add some and then I'm going to run a knife around the edges so that it all goes down in and get the air bubbles out and then I'm going to add a little bit more if I still have room and headspace and then this is for my daughter to take back with her to college so when um, she opens it she can either add more barbecue sauce to it or uh, It'll all be ready and she can just kind of shred it and stick it on a bun for a sandwich. You know, so she can just open the jar and eat it or you know, she can have enough to share with a friend and have sandwiches. Apparently my pickled green beans are a big hit at school. I have a request to make more so hopefully they will go on, the fresh green beans will go on sale at the grocery store since they're not in season. And I can can her some more of those. So she brings her jars back. This one jar right here, see the lip on it? And the very old ball writing, or older ball writing on it. I'm not sure I'm going to let her take that one. She may only get three to take back because this is one of my last pint jars. And I don't like to let those ones go. So just go around. We'll just keep deep bubbling and then adding more juice and I'm gonna go ahead and do that off camera because it's hard to do one-handed and I will come back with you when I get a minute. Okay so now that I have them all filled got the liquid down to the bottom got all the bubbles out I'm just gonna go around and wipe all of my rims really carefully here with a little vinegar kind of changing where I wipe on each one and then I'm just going to put my rings and lids on finger tight lids and rings on finger tight and we are going to be good to go right into the canner and then the instructions for this say to fill up a quarter way up the jars with water so that's what I'm going to do hang on that very well but I'm gonna get that water up there and that's quarter quarter of the way up on my jars so we'll get the lid on now it is locked I am making sure that my pressure is set for closed I'm hitting my canning button 
and then I need to uh, figure out this time. I'll be right back with you. I think I. So we are at pressure now, and I think our time is going to be good. Um, actually, I think our time is going to be over our time, but some of it is uh, heat up time and cool down time, so I will have to look that book up a little bit better. Again, this is my first time with this one, and I'm very excited to try it out. We'll see how it does, and then the rest of the pork shoulder is going to go into barbecued pork for the supper for the boys and I today, so... It worked out perfect uh, at a little over seven pounds, did four pints, and there's enough left to serve the three of us for supper tonight. So that'll be perfect, and I will let you know when I can get them out of the canner. Keep you going here. Okay, it just beat. It's done. So we're going to let it cool, and then I will release the pressure when it's time. But there we go. Doing good so far. So here are all four pint jars out of the canner and they're going to sit here and seal and I am very pleased with my Pressure XL cooker. I think it did a great job. It smells so good. So now to take the rest and cook it for dinner. Be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell.